Hey guys, so in today's YouTube video I will be reviewing the Derwent Line Markers. Here's the finished product, so if you would like to know about them and how they work, stay tuned. See you in a bit. If you like what you see, like and subscribe and my Instagram is at FosterBrit. Thanks! Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Just to let you know, Derwent have sent me a sample of their Derwent Fine Liners, which I'll be reviewing and trying out. So stay tuned. Sample pack, what they've sent. They've sent two colours at both 0.3mm, black and purple. That looks a really nice colour. So I think it's these two. So they do all these colours. So I can't wait to try them out. That looks really pretty, I think. I'm super, super excited to try these out. So, here's what they look like without the packaging. So, we'll say goodbye to that for now. So, here they are. So, let's open them for the first time. Ooh, yeah. That's a really, really nice point. What I hate with markers is when you use them, and they're like either a too too fine or too big and they don't have different sizes but these I'll just show you come in six different sizes so you can pick which which size you want which is really nice oh yeah so let's get to it here I'm just trying to figure out what to draw and I've decided to draw a guinea pig which is kind of cute because he actually looks like my guinea pig willow um, which is cute. I, I used a Derwent sharpener at the start as well they're really cool as I've talked in a previous video they get um, your pencils really really into a fine point which is awesome for rough pencil sketches and sketching out stuff. At the minute you'll have to kind of bear with um, with the sketch because it's really, really rough at the minute. I love with this stage because you cannot tell at all what the drawing's going to look like. You can a little bit, but for me, I think it all comes together when you add the liners. So hopefully, I absolutely love them. Without further ado, let's go on to the fine liners. The 0.3 for me is a great starter pen, which I normally do with my images and start up fine then build up to a thicker pen. But these pens seem really free-flowing <laughs> and there's also a constant supply of ink. Here's the two colours, both look awesome and I can't wait to try them on this sketch. So I think I'm going to start off with the eye to start with and then progress on to maybe the markings I like starting off with the middle of the image because I think you can get a better view of whether you need to change the outline of the image or anything like that for me I think these are one of the best pen like fine liners what I've used um so yeah it's really they're really really nice to use so definitely recommend them really really super speedy at the minute but with the fine liners I absolutely, I know I've said this a million times, I love them but I really really do. What I find with these is as well when you're drawing you can go over the line with your hand and it doesn't smudge. It dries really really fast which is awesome if you want to get your lines in quick and you want to do quick sketches. So big big thumbs up for me at this point. So halfway through filming this I went and bought the whole set of the black fine liners which they run from 0.05 to 0.8 so they're all completely different sizes great for cartoony stuff and different line weights so here i'm just trying out the 0.05 mil and i really like this one this would be really good for fine detail and this is the 0.1 Which you can see the complete difference between the two nibs. Then this is the 0.51, so that's you can see is a lot thicker from the 0.31. And then finally, this is the 0.8, so I'm just showing the difference between the 0.8 and the 0.5. So you can see you've got a variety of 
line thicknesses. have any Derwin coloured pencils so I'll just be using the Favier Castell to just make the image pop a little bit. sketch to show you the Derwent fine line markers in 0.3 and also their other ones so overall I absolutely loved using them definitely I am gonna go and buy the other set so yeah I absolutely love these big big thumbs up don't forget if you like what you see like and subscribe and my Instagram is at Foster Brit.